Uh, also joining us in studio, boom! What's going on, John? How you doing, brother? Good. How you doing, John? I gotta tell you something. I mean, politics this day and age. And don't get me wrong. You know your federal elections so important. Your state elections so important. But nothing is more effective than your local politics. You're right. And not for nothing. So many people don't even give it its proper due when paying attention to local politics. Because uh, not for nothing. For some reason, that's not in the mainstream media or it's just not sexy news. Hey, what you would decide to, in November for your backyard, it's going to affect you immediately. So let's sit down with, uh, with John Lockwood, who's running for War 12 against five other candidates. Six candidates. Ladies and gentlemen, John without an H, Lockwood. All right. <laughs> it's good to have you, brother. All, all right, so uh, it, a, uh, a veteran guy, right? Right. Thank you for your service, you know? You. you know, uh, it was an honor to serve this country, and I'll tell you, I, didn't, I, I couldn't do uh, tw 29 years total? No, 20. 20. I, I couldn't do 20 years total. Yeah. No way. I, I, I did my five, and, you know, it was an honor to serve, you know, overseas uh, here back home, but... But 20 years, what'd you do in the service? I was a mechanic. Mechanic, an 88 Mike. No, that's a truck driver. That's a truck driver. What's a mechanic? Uh, when I was in, it was a 63 Bravo. Now it's a 91 Bravo. My God. But uh, I, I had to retire. I was stuck in the same unit for five years down in 2nd VCT. Strike. Old dudes. Strike, baby. <laughs> Woo. I love it. So I got out. And a first sergeant. So uh, it's good to see a first sergeant. Absolutely. But uh, but now uh, okay, you get out. Uh, when you got out, I mean, I, I see you, you uh, on Facebook and everything. You're a preacher, man. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, you went to college for it, the whole bit. Yes, sir. And like, so now, Pastor John, mm -hmm. uh, how was that transition from a first sergeant going, hey, hey, push it, push, give me twenty, Johnson, push, to going to a, a preacher? I, uh, I was in ministry while on active duty. I worked with uh, a ministry group called Ministry to the Military when I was stationed in Germany. Came back to the States, was active in a local church. Then um, when it came time to retire, I just kind of weighed out my options. I was already, at, like I said, actively involved in church, working at a church on staff. And so uh, I decided it was time to get out. I'd been through some some difficult issues. I had a 10-year-old son that was diagnosed with uh, with a malignant brain tumor. At, he was 10 years old, so we went through dealing with that, and uh, through much prayer and good doctors, he's fully recovered. 100%. 100%. He went. Uh, he was supposed to be under treatment for five years. After the third year, the doctor would come from Net, from Vanderbilt to Fort Campbell Hospital. He, he said, son, I don't need to see you anymore. There's nothing wrong with you. You know where my office is if you need me. So he's been cancer free for 25 years now. Praise yeah. Jesus. Married has uh, he's been married for 17 years. Has three kids of his own. So we went through some issues to trying to decide what to do. Right about the time I was supposed to retire, uh, if you've been in the military, you know how they do. Hey, you just came down on orders yeah. for Korea. That's right. That's right. <laughs> no, no um, that didn't happen. I can't no, do I, it. They said, "Oh, you don't have a choice." I said, "I bet I do." <laughs> so uh, I dropped my paperwork and uh, I was in good with my chain of command because I worked at, at a higher level and I just kind of walked into my battalion commander's office and said, hey, I got a paper I need you to sign. What you got? Oh, retirement. Oh, this is good, man. I'm leaving too. He signed it and I was gone. God. They said, oh, you can't do it. I retired, was on active duty. I worked other jobs uh, along the way. I've been Here in Clarksville. And yeah. you've been in Clarksville for 20 plus years, right? 27 years. 27 years. This time. You're right. I was stationed, this was my first assignment in the Army in the 70s and my last assignment in the Army. I came, I left here in 1981. I was like, thank God. Right. 13 years later, got orders to come back. Unbelievable. It's like, oh, man. <laughs> and you've seen the growth of Clarksville in that time. Tremendous growth. I mean, from back then, I, I've only seen pictures and numbers, you know? Mm -hmm. And then you look today, Montgomery County, when the new census comes out, look for 240,000 to 250,000 people. That is a massive city. Is. Now, being, what made you decide to be a part or wanted to be a part of the po political side of this city? I have, a, I have a belief system that if I don't make an effort to do something to affect change, I don't have a right to complain. 
just like not voting. If I don't vote, I should never say anything about what's happening. Well, what are some of the things that uh, you, you possibly have complained about in the past that you want to help make that change? Well, I, we can all complain about traffic. Yes. I live just on the other side of the interstate past exit four. Right. Anytime you drive down Wilma Rudolph, you can go any day, any time of the day, there'll be a wreck at the overpass at exit four. Right. Do they schedule that? What is I, I that think about? They do. do they schedule like, the wreck. <laughs> like, it's your turn. Hey, hey, Johnson, it's your turn. It's, it's crazy. But not just there. You know, they've done things in the city to, they, they've gotten better. My, uh -huh. my thing about, growth is that we need to be proactive not reactive it seems like we widen the road after we got so many cars we can't get mm -hmm. down there rather than okay we're going to build a new mall okay well let's look at roads and things like that and you know being fair to the city they've done some things with dunlap lane ted crozier boulevard trying to take traffic off of wilmer that's Rudolph. right so they are doing things now with, warfield uh, boulevard, boulevard, boulevard looks good um, and that was a state and county and city uh, work together. Right. The thing about that, I hear that every time I go and we have a meeting. Uh -huh. Well, that's a state road. Right. Okay, so it's a state road. But if we push our state officials, uh, you know, people like Bill Powers, Curtis Johnson, uh, these other folks, hey, push our projects up. Uh -huh. You're at the state level. Push our projects up. We can see things go. And Trent, you, you Trenton got, Road is oh Trent oh my God, we just oh. you know, I just got a I, I just got a freaking uh, heartburn. You mentioned Trenton Road. It's crazy. I, I've never hated someone for making a left turn in my life until I got onto Trenton Road. Right. Oh, they're just trying to go home, and I hate them. It's sure. it's unreal. So but, imagine living in the ward that has the most traffic. Right, that, that is Ward 12. Ward 12, because you have Wilma Rudolph Boulevard. You have uh, Trenton Road. It's exit Trenton four. Road, Trenton Road divides Ward 12 and Ward 8. Yes. Northeast High School side up to Gibbs Lane is uh -huh. the ward, but then it goes all the way to the state line the other way on, on the same, the right side up to Woodstock subdivision. But then it goes down Wilma Rudolph behind Chick-fil-A. Johnny, I love it. On Kennedy Lane, going back that way, the subdivisions back that way. Yeah. Then it goes to the other side. You got the mall, old Russellville Pike. But everyone's been complaining about these roads for years. What what needs to be done to to fix that? We need to push our projects higher. We need to push our elected officials at the state level. And you got no problem contacting them and like, hey, you know, state senator, I love you, but we need this, right? I, I used to work for Bill Powers. I have no problem calling him up and saying, hey, what are you going to do for us here? Right. He's running for office, too. Right, absolutely. He's running for a re-election. Right. Isn't that crazy? That's two years already. That's crazy. Unreal. All right, uh, traffic, boom. What are some other issues? I have a, my platform is all about principles. Principles matter. I believe in principles of leadership, accountability, and transparency. We need to be held accountable as leaders on how we take care of money being you know good stewards of money it's right not, it's not my money no it's know, not but i need to be uh conscious of how we spend that money in the past now this is not my first time i ran for ward 12 in 2012 against jeff burkhart uh and came out really close he, he got me by about 400 votes wow so uh and i've had my name on the ballot for mayor clarksville city mayor twice uh -huh. i said i'm gonna just try this i'm gonna see what happens I didn't put any money into it. I just had my name on the ballot. Went to a couple meetings and stuff just to kind of feel out how politics work in Clarksville. So I did that twice. Uh, but when I ran for Ward 12, I put all I had into it. Money, everything, to see what would happen. It's not cheap, huh? It, it's not. It's not. I mean, I think I spent just in, in mail-outs about $2,400. Oh, my God. Forget uh, you about know, it. That's signs, another $1,500, $1,600. Right. It, it's, it's not cheap. Uh, Speaking of which, I brought a uh, an advertising contract. If you don't mind signing before you leave, okay, <laughs> sure. it gets you thirty commercials. Uh, uh, <laughs> at, at the very bottom, it says taken care of. Yeah, taken take take care of. Yeah, pro bono, right? Free. Uh, <laughs> now, um, um, okay, the uh, the, the city. It's uh, transparency. Absolutely, right, the right. whole bit. You know, uh, traffic. We we get it. Now, uh, as for okay, it's five other candidates you're running against. Right. I mean, when you entered, were there five candidates, other candidates running, or? or? No, when I. Uh, so why is there five candidates? Why so many people? I've never seen so many candidates run for one ward before. Okay, let me back up. When I ran for mayor the first time, there were eight people that ran. Right for mayor, I. The I second I, time there was ten. Uh huh. Oh my God. Okay. When I ran against Jeff Burkhardt, it was just he and I in 2012. Hmm. 
But now he can't run anymore. His right. time has expired. So now everybody wants to get in there. Uh, I only knew of one, and because she had contacted me last year and just said, hey, I'm just going to introduce myself. I'm planning on running for city council. Uh, you know, what do you think about it? How did you feel about the things that you went through? I said, well, you know, it is what you make of it. You know, right. There's going to be people not like things that you say. There are going to be people that, but being a pastor of a church, and I get that all the time. Oh, I bet. <laughs> That's not new stuff for me. I bet. Now, uh, all the other people running, you get along with them? Yeah. You have any issues? or? I don't know any of them. Okay. I've met them. And right. The only face-to-face -face I had, it wasn't even face-to-face. -face. We did a... Uh, a Zoom. A Zoom to Zoom. Zoom to Zoom with yeah. Clarksville now yesterday. Uh -huh. and, and I got to see each one. Right. I, I have spoken on Facebook with a couple of them. Just, hey, how you doing? Yeah. Best of luck to you. And, uh, but that's it. I've never met him in person. Well, my my uh, future goal is to uh, get everybody in here in the studio and just have a conversation. You know, I don't want to call it a debate or anything, but just talk to each other. Right. You know, I mean, yeah, it's going to turn into a debate, but we'll call it a conversation. But uh, JohnLockwood.com. All right. I, there's, there's all great information about John on there. Again, that's John without an H. No H. Right. Yeah, no H. The, only the cool Johns have, uh, have. This is the no H table. Yeah. Right, right. Get, get your H's <laughs> out of here. All right. Get your H's. <laughs> but uh, but uh, I got to tell you, man, well, I would have to say a, a lot of eyes, even outside of War 12, are on this race. Why? Because exactly what you just said. I mean, you're talking about exit four, exit one areas, and it is the booming area of the city. And exit eight. Yeah, and exit eight. I mean, boom. The realty over there, forget about it. Mm -hmm. oh. You so, know that the city had bought 300 acres over there by exit eight, and they've annexed it into the city. Right. So if you live in Farmington, <clears throat> you might see that coming your way too. I mean, there's other things that the, the city has plans. They're looking at... The growth, the new growth plan comes out for 2020 to 2040, and they're already talking about the projected growth areas around Exit 8. If you go down Tyler Town Road. Oh, it's the next Wilma. Well, well, you know, they, when they open LG, all the traffic now goes down Tyler Town to go to work. Right. We've had so many trucks, tractor trailers, try to turn right off of Trenton Road. No, don't do it. Onto uh, uh, mm -mm. Uh, Tyler Town, uh -uh. taking out the guardrail. Yeah. That the guardrail has its own Facebook page. Yeah, yeah right. That's right. <laughs> Gary. Right, Gary. Yeah, yeah. Truckers. And that's at exit eight? Yeah, that, that's exit. at exit one. Four? Oh, yeah. uh, four is the problem exit, though, right? Oh, it, they're all a problem exit. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on. When you have trucks they're... trying to make deliveries to LG, and they, they and it's not them, their dispatcher tells them, because they see that on the map that you can go yeah. down this road. <laughs> Poor <laughs> O'Connors. The guardrail has its, yeah. own, has its own Facebook page. That's right. Gary. It's not verified yet, then. What the yeah, hell? That's good. It's Gary. Good. Gary. Gary. You'll see Gary the garbage. Oh, oh, they post pictures. Oh, there's another truck yep. up on Gary. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> well, I wish you the best of luck, sir. Thank you. No doubt about it. And I hope to get you uh, in the studio with everybody else here soon. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. To it. Yeah, me too. Me too. JohnLockwood.com. He's running for Ward 12. Check out his information and send him a message if you got any questions. You know, I'm sure he's a he's a pretty transparent guy. Yeah, and if you want to see me face to face, I'll be holding a meet and greet. This Saturday at Alana's Table, 620 Dunlap Lane, from 1 to 3. Cool place. Come by and check me out. Cool place. And that's this weekend. This Saturday. Right. Again, for more information, uh, go check him out on Facebook, too. But JohnLockwood.com. No doubt about it. Thank you, brother. Thank you. All right. Strike. The 5 deuce. That's it. On the loose. Don't forget about it. Black Hearts. Don't forget about the Black Hearts. Such a historic unit. Five presidential unit citations. Five pucks. Yeah, take that, Rocket Sons. Right. There you go. All right. No offense to a Rocket Sons people, but take that, Curry. He take that, best though. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. All right. All right. Oh my. Okay, God. sorry. Joey. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry for Sergeant. Let me go to parade rest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Coming up next, uh, I got a uh, just a, a couple local stories that we got to hit up on, and I uh, want your guys' opinion. I want your opinions too. So don't forget to share this on your timeline. Write in those comments. And yes, I need to know why was the Tennessee woman arrested for chewing the mane <laughs> of a horse? I cannot wait to hear uh, this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Plus also Was she that hungry? Uh, babe, we'll find out We'll find out And then also There was a, a Tennessee State Trooper That was uh, That was Fired For Allegedly ripping off The face mask Of a protester In Nashville Well he got arrested Why did he get arrested? Let's find out 
And then, what's the other one? Oh, yeah, this weird one. Uh, I'll just tease it a little bit. A Tennessee guy, uh, he, was, uh, he, he, he was trying to steal a taxi, okay? I'm going to break that story down for you, all right? Yeah, it's always an interesting one when it comes out of East Tennessee. Yep, one tooth, just as I thought. All right, so yeah, that's all coming up next on the Joe Padilla Show. Where Clarksburg goes to party with a purpose. Absolutely. Hannah Price with Voice of Choice, and oh my God, I'm here with the best interviewer I've ever met. Joe Padula Show, absolutely.